The theory of constraints was theorized by Eli Goldratt in his famous book The Goal. Eli Goldratt suggests using only three performance measures to manage production and business. Then, he suggests to improve only on a few critical processes that really regulate the production flow. These critical processes are identified as constraints. By adopting the theory of constraints, instead of measuring dozens of KPIs and launching many improvement initiatives, you will be able to measure only three KPIs and launch a few targeted initiatives that will have a real benefit on your business. Let's go into the detail. The three measures are Output Inventory Operating Expenses Money is involved in each of these metrics. In fact, the output should be measured in money and not in units produced. The inventory is a basic cost of materials and excludes added value during the manufacturing process. Operating expenses should be taken into account without the distinction of direct and indirect costs, which is seen as an unnecessary distinction. Once these concepts are fixed, the purpose of a company becomes simple. Increase output and lower inventory level and operating expenses. Every investment and every improvement proposal should be judged by analyzing the impact on these three metrics. In the theory of constraints, priority is also given on which metrics to improve. The first is the output. The second is the inventory. The third is operating expenses. The reason is that the output immediately brings a benefit on the three main financial indicators. Cash flow. Profit. Return on investment. The other two indicators need to be improved judiciously as lowering inventory too much could have a negative impact on output. In addition, lowering operating costs by laying off people with the necessary skills could also have a negative impact on output. Having clarified what the goal of the companies must be and how to measure it effectively, let's move on to the improvement cycle based on the theory of constraints. According to Goldratt, most companies have a limited number of constraints and removing them could make infinite profits. To understand well the importance of the constraint on the production flow, deepen the drum buffer rope theory. The cycle of constraints theory is based on five steps. Step 1, identify the constraint. Step 2, exploit the constraint. The constraint is the point of the flow that regulates the output. It is the most precious point. Therefore, in this step all actions must be put in place in order not to lose even one minute of production on the constraint. You can put a buffer. You can launch a quality guys and you can improve maintenance with the TPM. Step 3, subordinate all resources to the constraint. We must all be informed of the importance of the constraint. The performance of the constraint must be measured well. All upstream product inventory should be brought to the constraint as quickly as possible. The SM should be done at the constraint in order to allow to reduce the processing batches and increase the flow speed. Step 4, elevate the constraint. After completing points 2 and 3, the constraint must be broken with more decisive actions such as the doubling of the machines or overtime. If the identified constraint is a true constraint, these expenses will be abundantly repaid. Step 5, if the constraint has been broken, start again from point 1. Be careful that inertia does not become the new constraint. Do you want to learn all about theory of constraints? You want to learn in detail. 1. How to identify the constraint. 2. Understand the difference between constraints and bottlenecks. 3. Know the drum buffer rope theory. 4. Hear an entire Eli Goldratt lecture. I have seen dozens of videos on this topic and have managed to identify the few most interesting videos released in recent years. If you want to save time and understand these concepts, using the effective and fast video mode, without going crazy yourself on YouTube to find the best videos, consider downloading this annotated video collection that I made for you.